An 18-year-old man has been caught practicing as a doctor when he did not have a license to be a doctor. Now, the crazy thing about this story is it was the second time that he got caught pretending to be a doctor. His name is Malachi Dr. Love Robinson. There he is. And I love that he took a picture with that white coat and the stethoscope and everything. No, no. That's, that's the best part of the story, if you ask me. No, there's a Malachi. thousand great parts of the story, which we're going to get to. But let's, first of all, his name, first name is Malachi, like the Malachi Crunch, which is awesome. <laughs> Second of all, he's got love in his name, so some people call him Dr. Love. But my favorite part <laughs> is not the stethoscope or the kind of mohawk he has in that picture, but the this one. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. To be fair, that's how a lot of doctors would do it. I think he did his research. That's why you think doctors take pictures like this? I think some do, doctors and people about to they graduate shouldn't. eighth grade do. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's like the new, it's the equivalent of the newsman, like the side thing. Um, I like it. Breaking news, his name is actually pronounced Malachi, not Malachi. Okay, but it's <laughs> Malachi Crunch's name. Yeah. <laughs> we're very hungry, we're thinking about Kalachi's. Of course it is. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I, I, it's funny, I wouldn't even put it in I was like, Malachi, I was like, that is a weird name. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me give you the details on what he did. Now, 18-year-old Malachi Love Robinson of West Palm Beach, Florida, was arrested this week for practicing medicine without a license. The teen recently opened the New Birth, New Life Alternative Medicine and Urgent Care Clinic. I love this guy. A high, a high quality, holistic and alternative medical care facility where police say he misled patients into thinking he was a licensed medical doctor. Now, he ran this place for three months. Look, he's 18 years old. I don't know where he got the money to rent this place. I don't know how he successfully did this for three months, but I, I almost want to give him props. That's kind of amazing. No, no, you look, we're not allowed to give him props when you find out that he was pretending to be a gynecologist, okay? He didn't pretend. Little uh, uncomfortable, okay. Okay, so let me give you the details on that. A year before he got caught this recent time, um, he went into a hospital and uh, he pretended to be a doctor and then uh, there was supposed to be some sort of gynecological, you exam. know, exam. And right before he was gonna be part of that, he got caught because the doctors were like, Why is he giggling so much? That guy. <laughs> Does he have a stiffy? No. They like they were looking at him and they're like, that guy seems like he's a little too young to be a doctor, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and he had his lab coat at the time too. He was 17. He's walking around the hospital. He's got the lab coat. I think it said did anesthesiology. We do that? Did we do yes. Story. You did, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We did cover yeah. that story. Yeah. So he gets caught, and that time they didn't put him in jail because they're like, oh, he's being enterprising. Yeah. But no, no, no. You can't go and be a pretend to be a gynecologist or an anesthesiologist checking in on a gynecology exam. Okay. And then he there's also allegations that he might have. Uh, taking someone's checks and then and use them ar across town. Now, having said that, I feel bad because I kind of there are things I like about him. Mm -hmm. He is very enterprising. Yes. I like the all the effort that he goes into because first the name of his clinic being New Birth, New Life, Holistic and Alternative Medical Center and Urgent Care. No, the, the that's great, awesome. No, no, like, you know what saved him? First of all, he opened a clinic. Right? Yeah, he didn't yeah. just walk into the hospital. He's like, I'm going to make my own hospital. Yeah. Their yeah. patients are going to come to me. So he's genius. And adding and urgent care. Yeah. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm <laughs> telling you, the kid's smart. So smart. Yeah. And, and then he's got a, uh, online, he's got a five star rating. Yeah. Two people went to his clinic. They're like, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. <laughs> well, then apparently, is he really committing any crimes here? Okay, okay. but here's the amazing thing. So if you want to be a holistic doctor in Florida, mm -hmm. you don't need a license. That's so that's what he was planning on using as his defense. But unfortunately, he was he got caught treating a woman the way an actual doctor would. There was he, a sting operation. That's how he got caught. When the undercover cop went in, he actually pretended to be a doctor. Yeah. So if he had just left well enough alone, and uh, now look, he's lying about everything. He said he was 25. He's 18. He uh, put up his credentials uh, online. He said he has a PhD, which he doesn't. Also an HHPC and an AMPC, two things that, that do not exist. exist. <laughs> okay, <laughs> they're not things. But it's awesome. No, you know in, what? Not in this dimension. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. when you see that, you're like, oh, he's got an HHPC, oh, He's got an HHPC. Uh, Where'd you get that? Uh, Rite Aid? <laughs> 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 I printed it up. <laughs> it, it, but but it, it sounds it official. Bit, isn't it a little bit weird that, uh, I mean, I have friends who, I have friends who or are fake in. fake gynecologists? No, who are <laughs> in uh, areas of medicine that I don't necessarily believe are like medicine or whatever, but that's mm -hmm. what they're doing with their life and they're perfectly fine people. But I just, so, no. <laughs> <laughs> but we're it's cracking cool. down on this guy who apparently his, his, uh, the people that go into the clinic kind of like it or whatever. And no, I don't think that he did the right thing, but it's not like he just said, I'm opening up, you know, the, the Woodhaven urgent care center. He said, it's alternative. It's holistic. 
I think that we're, the disservice that's being done is that we continue to raise generations of people who believe that all sorts of things that aren't actually medicine are medicine and would expect that the people that are treating them actually have licenses. There's, there are fields of medicine that have been around for a century in America that have no scientific backing whatsoever, but you can find them in every city and those are perfectly fine and totally cool and I grew up thinking that some of them were legit medicine. To be fair, do those guys have HHPC? <laughs> no, they no, didn't, they I do. checked. That's why I didn't go to them in the end. It, we, I remember being in Miami and there was some holistic medicine that somebody recommended to me and then in the label it says like, Native Americans used this back in the day. And I was like, Native Americans died when they were like 25. Yeah. <laughs> like, so I'm not yeah. sure that. I like the idea that there was a drug that had the, that used the phrase back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, you yeah. told a story about that, and then oh, I realized, well, the day. Right, I'm, well, like, well. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, you know what, I'm going to take a drug that people use in this day. Right, the uh, yeah. two things, I, I, one, we should do a show where we just say like the, you know, what we call like TYT, holistic care, and <laughs> holistic medicine and urgent care, uh -huh. right? And we just all wear lab coats. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, right we'll now we have calls. a huge yeah. problem in the country where we have these pregnancy crisis centers with conservative people who are yep. not doctors oh, posing yeah. as doctors, right? And they're able to do it. And well, they have that's a, political a great agenda. point. Yeah. Wait a minute. If this kid's arrested, all those guys face, uh, posing as doctors who are then trying to get people to not have abortions, right. they should all be arrested. But they're right? not. They're protected for some reason. All and, right. And to be fair to the kid, he wasn't just trying to look at uh, coochie, right? Is that a word? It's <laughs> malacoochie, actually. Okay, sorry. Uh, he, he checked everybody that came in. He worked on an 86-year-old. That was the one he stole the checks from. Um, <laughs> oh. Okay. So, by the way, like when the cop came in, he's like, he used his stethoscope. And he's, like, he's like, you're all right. Okay. Now, what if she wasn't all right, right? Yeah. And then for the 86-year-old, he's like, ooh. No, you're gonna need to go in right now. Uh -huh. Okay, he has no idea. The ambulance in comes where? in to the he's, hospital. He's urgent care. He's Why urgent is she going somewhere else? So he, they take her to the hospital. That's when he gets her checks. Yeah. So it has a, it, yeah. There's issues here. There's yeah. real issues. So uh, his uh, grandfather talked to the press, and his grandfather's like, I don't know why he's in trouble. He's just a really smart, very driven and motivated kid. In fact, he was also a minister. Okay. So oh no! By the way. An up-and-coming minister. Up-and-coming minister. <laughs> Among his accomplishments, Robinson, his grandfather, said, was his position as an up-and-coming minister at the New Birth Outreach Ministries. And yeah, urgent care. Oh, New Birth. <laughs> yeah, it's a theme I sense with New Birth. Okay. And by the way, the, girl, the woman that he was trying to check in on the gynecology exam, pregnant. So there might be something going on there. Now, on a website offering free ordained ministry certificates, Love Robinson is listed as a reverend who specializes in philosophical theology, religious epistemology, and Christian apologetics. I don't even know what that is. It's like the, the sort of theorizing and the defense of why certain things are the way they are in Christianity and all that. You'd have to be an apologetic to believe that. His biography states he is working on a doctoral thesis and lists him as a naturopathic physician. Yeah. He's none of those things. Yeah. But, you know, look, again, it's the same voodoo, right? If you, you know, if he was doing this as a person who was going to help you spiritually, everybody would be like, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, of course. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, but in reality, there's no such thing.